And hey there, viewers. Are you feeling pain in your chest, arm, or jaw? Do you sweat more than you should be? If so, your heart may be yelling at you to visit a doctor. Your heart is one of the most important organs in your body. It circulates blood through your body. If you don't keep it happy and healthy, your life may be at risk. Let's talk about heart symptoms you should never ignore. Heart disease is not just one disease. It's a name given to a number of heart-related problems. That's why doctors call it a cardiovascular disease. The first sign of heart disease is pain in your chest. There could be many reasons for this pain. Sometimes there's blockages in the arteries. This is called coronary heart disease. It happens when your heart's not getting enough blood. Coronary heart disease feels like a squeezing pain accompanied by extreme pressure on your chest. This symptom is called angina. Just like how every organ of your body needs oxygen and blood, your heart needs it too. And when there's a blocked artery, angina happens. It occurs when too much fat and cholesterol build up inside the artery walls. This buildup will sometimes harden. Just like every other skin condition, angina comes with its own slew of problems. Too much physical activity and stress is referred to as stable angina. It happens when the arteries are open enough to supply blood during low demand. This means when you're resting or doing daily chores, you won't feel anything abnormal. But when you hit the gym, you may start feeling pressure on your chest. It lasts for a very short period and goes away once you rest. It's not a heart attack, but it is a sign that you'll have one eventually. You may want to visit a doctor. Another type of angina is unstable angina. This occurs when you're resting. It lasts for a longer period and keeps coming back. It's not a heart attack, but it is a sign that you're probably going to have one soon. This is why the doctor's a good idea. The third type is called microvascular angina. With this type, you have chest pain, but your arteries are not blocked. It happens because your small coronary artery is not working the way it should, restricting the blood supply to the heart. So your heart doesn't get the oxygen it needs. The chest pain for this one lasts for longer than 10 minutes and is much more common in women, especially women who have hit menopause. The fourth type is called Prince Metal's angina. I know it's a mouthful to pronounce. An easier name is variant angina. With this type, the arteries get tightened for some reason, restricting blood flow to the heart. It's usually triggered at night while you're sleeping. Variant angina can cause a lot of pain. You should get it treated ASAP. You shouldn't worry about this one so much though, it's pretty rare. Signs of heart disease vary from person to person. Chest pain is an obvious sign of heart disease, but sometimes common symptoms of indigestion, like heartburn, nausea, indigestion, and stomach pain can also serve as signs. They become more concerned if they're accompanied by other symptoms of a heart attack. Some people may even throw up. This happens because the heart is having problems circulating blood to the other parts of the body. Your digestive system is affected during this time. When the blood circulates slowly, the body's chemistry changes. It becomes more acidic, which causes the organs to lose control. If your heart disease is causing stomach pain, it's going to feel different from other situations. This stomach pain is going to be sharp and intense. If they continue over a long period of time, it's known as intestinal angina. These pains usually occur in the upper left side of the stomach. If you've been diagnosed with a heart condition and you're sweating and feeling nauseated, get to a doctor as soon as you can. There are various stomach-related problems that can be caused by an unhealthy heart. If not enough blood is getting through to the digestive system, you're going to feel pain while eating. This may cause unusual weight loss. While losing weight is considered good, losing too much too fast may be a sign of heart disease. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror and noticed your stomach is getting flatter and your face is thinner? Sometimes, a part of your digestive system loses function because of a blood clot lodged in one of the arteries. These clots start from the heart and travel to the digestive system, blocking the blood flow. Sometimes the condition is so serious you stop digesting food. Your body becomes more acidic when you're suffering from heart disease. This means that your stomach also produces more hydrochloric acid. You need this acid to digest food, 
but too much of it starts eating away the protective lining in the stomach. At first, this extra acid makes you feel nauseated. If it's not treated in time, it may end up causing an ulcer. So if you're feeling like you want to throw up for no reason at all, it's probably your heart yelling at you to get a doctor. If you're younger, you have a smaller chance of developing these symptoms. They happen more as you get older. Small aches and pains in the left arm are very normal with age. But if you're feeling sudden or unusual pain in the left arm, there may be a more serious issue. It might be a symptom of a serious injury or may even be a signal of heart disease. When it's a heart problem, the pain usually starts in your chest and then radiates to the left arm. Sometimes it may start in your left arm. This often happens because your brain is confused. The nerves that branch from the heart as well as those coming from the arm send signals to the same brain cells. As a result, your brain is unable to isolate the source of the pain. The phenomena is called referred pain. This explains why some people experiencing a heart attack feel pain in their left arm without having chest problems. If you start to feel a random pain in your arm that gets worse over the next few minutes, call an ambulance. This is especially serious when you're also feeling things like nausea, stomach pain, and tightness in other areas. Throat or jaw pain by itself is not heart-related. It's usually caused by muscular issues, colds, or sinus problems. But if they accompany other symptoms like chest pain, you may be having a heart attack. This is where you want to get to a hospital. Another way an unhealthy heart affects your body is dizziness and lightheadedness. Sometimes you haven't had enough to eat or drink. Other times you get up a little too quickly. Either way, you're feeling dizzy. This is usually a sign that something's going on with your heart. When your heart isn't working properly, your blood supply is restricted. If the blood supply is restricted, your brain won't get enough oxygen. This is where the lightheaded part comes in. Even a small amount of physical activity makes you feel dizzy. In extreme cases, you can faint. I don't mean to sound like a real science nerd here, but since your head is the highest point of your body, it has the force of gravity working against it. This means the heart has to work extra hard to pump the proper amount of blood to your brain. Dizziness and lightheadedness also occur when you get exhausted. If you've never had a problem climbing the stairs or carrying groceries from your car, but now all of a sudden feel winded, talk to a doctor. This might be your heart trying to tell you you're not getting enough oxygen to your muscles. This feeling of exhaustion can accompany shortness of breath, unexplained sweating, and really bad leg pain. If you're feeling really weak and tired throughout most of the day, it could be a sign that you're developing heart disease. This is especially true for women. Now we all get leg pain from time to time. There are so many things that can cause it. Just lifting something the wrong way can hurt your leg for days. But if cramping is coming from your calves, you may want to talk to a health professional. It could mean you're getting peripheral arterial disease. This is particularly bad for longtime smokers and diabetics. Peripheral arterial disease, or PAD, is similar to heart disease caused by fatty deposits in the coronary arteries. These supply blood to the heart. Only this time, the blood flow to your limbs is cut off. It affects both men and women and can also run in families. PAD is only becoming more common around the globe. Keep in mind, a lot of the symptoms I talked about can occur when your body's stressed from too much physical activity. If you're working out too hard, your heart is going to be beating out of control. Extreme sweat will follow. But if you're breaking out in a cold sweat for no apparent reason, it may be a sign of a heart attack. You see, your heart is trying to pump blood through your clogged arteries. Since it's so much harder to do, your heart needs to put in more work. This causes your body temperature to go up. In order for your temperature to stay at a proper level, you start sweating bullets. Make sure you pay attention to how you're feeling and remember, go to a doctor if you're feeling these symptoms. The heart is a fascinating organ, but it can be terrifying at the same time. If you're not taking care of your heart, it's going to turn on you. Have I sparked your interest? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more heart-related videos, shall we? Here's what you need to know. Check out 10 ways to keep your heart healthy. Or how about 8 foods that'll give you a heart attack fast? Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about how to keep your heart in shape.
Do you suffer from heart disease? Do you know someone who survived a heart attack? Let us know in the comments below.